So we're having lunch today at my mom's house and I thought I'd make a uh, corn pudding. So this is all the ingredients. We're going to have two cups of milk, scald it, a tablespoon of butter, three eggs, a third of a cup of some diced onion, real fine, uh, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, two cans of whole kernel corn, and we're going to bake it in a one and a half quart casserole dish. And we're gonna set it in a pan with a one inch of water. And that's how we're gonna bake the uh, dish. So let me show you the first step here. So the first thing we'll do is scald the milk. So got it in the microwave. And I think I'm gonna set it for about three minutes. And uh, we wanna to try to get it to about 185. So I actually, I actually did it an extra minute. So it takes about four minutes. And it's around 180 to 185 right now. At this point, we'll go ahead and assemble everything. Go ahead and put your uh, your corn in there. And this is uh, drained, completely drained, just regular little whole kernel corn. We'll put a third of a cup of onion. We're gonna put our milk in there. Put our milk and sugar in there. Go ahead and add our butter to it. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, get three eggs cracked in there. But I'm going to do it in a separate bowl. That way there's no chance any shells get in it. And there's my three eggs. Slightly beaten. And as far as the ingredients, that's everything. Go ahead and get this stirred up pretty good. And we'll go ahead and grease a one and a half quart casserole dish, which uh, this I'm not sure how big this thing is, because I don't think all of this is going to fit in there. Hmm. We'll, we'll try it and see. So we'll basically put a little, uh, I don't know, a teaspoon or so of cooking oil in it, and just give me a coffee filter. Just kind of grease it real good, and I will go ahead and pour our mix in. And like I said, if this don't fit, I'll just get a bigger bowl. Oof, I don't know how much of this is going to expand, but that's pretty uh, <laughs> that's pretty tight. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go with it. We'll see what happens. And uh, put me a one inch mark on my pan. I just measured the inside of it. So at this point, we'll go ahead, go ahead and fill it up. Uh, this is water I had in the microwave for uh, four minutes just to get it nice and hot. And I'm basically filling it up to my one inch line. So it's about there. Now we'll go ahead and stick this in the uh, oven. All right, it's in the oven. And I was ever so carefully not to spill the liquid into the water and uh so yeah we'll go ahead and close it and we'll cook it for at 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes so i'm gonna just go ahead and set my time to 45 minutes and we'll let it go and see what happens hopefully it don't rise up too much that's been 45 minutes now we'll go ahead and I can already tell it's not going to be done. Basically, you want to take a knife and just kind of stick it in the middle. It should come out clean. As you can tell, we're nowhere near clean yet. So we'll go ahead and put it back. And I'm going to check it probably in about 10 minutes. See where we stand. I think it's going to be getting closer around 55 minutes. But ovens vary, so just keep that in mind. This has been an extra 10 minutes now. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I can tell it's a little bit more firmer, but this will tell for sure. And I'd say we're not quite there yet. It's still a little bit wet on the, uh, the knife. So we'll let it go another five minutes. Alright, this 
been another five minutes. So we'll see what we got now. Like I say, we just want the knife to come out clean. Mm, not quite clean yet. Let it keep going. All right, so I went ahead and cooked it about an hour, uh, a total of 70 minutes. So, and uh, served my knife. It comes out pretty clean now. There's a little bit moisture on it, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. Uh, you wanna let it rest for 10 minutes according to the recipe before you uh, eat it. Uh, I actually be leaving this rest for about two hours. I cooked it a little early today. So I'll be bringing this down to my mom's for lunch today. So there you go, corn pudding. Pretty darn easy. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and give it a little taste here. Let me just get a little bit of the side here. Ooh, that looks good. Corn pudding. Give it a little taste. Mm-hmm. Very light. I'm digging it. First time making it. But um, yeah, I'd say pretty darn good. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thanks.